Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know we haven't done a video with the blue truck here in a while, but uh, in today's video, we're going to do a kind of a review video on these hand cooks. So, we've put somewhere around 30,000 miles on these since we got them, and uh, so far, they're holding up pretty well. Um, I know they haven't been rotated right, but so far, so good. Let's see the back ones there. But uh, anyways, I want to start the truck here, show you all the trip meter and about how many miles they have on. We have reset it since we got these tires, but you get a rough idea. All right, guys. So this is the uh, the miles on the blue truck here and that trip a is uh <laughs> i'm pretty sure trip a is from when we went to mississippi one of the times but anyways that's uh that was about halfway through when we bought these so these probably got 30 35,000 miles on them uh somewhere in that range i think the truck had around 175 when we threw these on here and then now we're almost at 210 or he's almost at 210 but so far so good I mean, they do great they seem to hold up pretty well all right so now that the plane has gone by uh, there's actually an airport over there in that area somewhere but anyways um, back to these tires here so far, like I was saying, so good. Um, you know, we did take this truck to Mississippi and a lot. That's a 400 mile one way, almost 500 mile one way trip. So, and it does rain a lot here. Uh, you can't hardly tell because it's sunny and kind of nice today. But again, so far, so good. Um, condition in the rain, they do beautiful. They do a ton better than the Toyo RTs we used to have on here. Uh, dirt roads, they seem to do fine. We haven't you know, taken off-roading or anything like that, but we do go up to the Buffalo River and that kind of thing. And in the, the river rock up there, they do great. As you can see, I'm kind of walking around and show you all the tread on them a little bit. And the river rock they do great and the uh kind of muddy roads they do fine up uh where we go four wheeler riding at they do fine on the gravel do great on pavement they are a little bit louder than uh the all terrains on the red truck which i'm about to make a video on those but i mean they're not they're not loud by any means they're just a little bit louder and that was more of a home, but not too, too bad. They haven't gotten any louder, and they're not wearing funny or anything like that. Now, he hasn't got this truck aligned in a while. Uh, it hasn't been aligned since I did the leveling kit in it. So, I know the alignment's probably off a little bit, but no weird wear, none of that. And for the, for the price, that we got them for wheels and tires uh, they do great you know pay a thousand bucks wheels and tires uh, off of a brand new 2019 I guess earlier this year but so far I mean so far so great so far so good anyway um, yeah pretty happy with them they're not they're not as good as I liked the old Terra grapplers that I had on here, but they still do pretty good. So I'm going to take y'all for a little drive around and uh, kind of show y'all the road noise and all that, and uh, we'll get back and uh, end out this video. All right, guys. So I'm here on uh, on the highway, and I thought I'd show y'all kind of a 
you know, different speeds, different different pitches of the tire. And uh, I mean, <laughs> as long as you're out there, these tires are pretty quiet. And uh, it's very nice to have a quiet tire. And when you drive, as much as we drive this truck, especially on uh, trips like going to Mississippi and things of that nature. So the speedometer is a little bit off um, going from this truck originally had 17s on it so going from 17s to 20s but you can see here 55 mile an hour and they're dead quiet and uh, yeah again so far so good they do great in the rain they don't walk around you can see if I can let go of the steering wheel it just barely pulls over on this road so not bad at all um, and again this truck needs an alignment. Uh, got a little bit of toe in on both tires and a little bit of camber on both sides. So probably does need alignment and uh, need to get the sensors put in. That's why we got the light on there. But not too bad. So I'm going to get it back to the house and I'll get back to y'all here in a bit. Alright guys. So we are back at the house and uh There's that. So, you know, again, um, these tires, like I was saying earlier, they would probably last a little bit longer and done a little bit better if we had rotated them regularly. Uh, we only rotated them once. So, um, and again, they would have probably done a little bit better with a fresh alignment and stayed on top of that. But, anyways, um, I gotta go do some stuff. I gotta get ready to paint some stuff for the cars and a bunch of other stuff. So, just thought I'd make this video real quick and uh, let y'all guys know kind of how they're kind of know how these tires are doing. But so far, so good. And uh, if you're looking at a set of these, I do recommend them. Now, I'm about to do a quick video on these tires that up that came on this truck when uh, we got it so anyways guys I'm gonna do that and uh, while I have a little bit and uh, whatnot but anyways if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please leave a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys hope everybody has a great day